All right, it's the big game, y'all. And what are you gonna take to that little get together you're going to? Well, I'm glad you asked. Trash can nachos is what we're gonna do. That'll be sure to wow your guests. The Andersons are gonna be at the party gonna be like, dang, did you see those things? Hey, thank me later. some good groceries. The first part of getting these trash can nachos ready is the steak, okay? Today we're gonna to use some skirt steak. Got a beautiful whole skirt steak. And we're gonna get this marinated up. We're gonna let it sit for a little while because we got a few other things to do before we cook this carne asada up, all right? All right, our marinade is gonna consist of, we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil, take a little bit of minced garlic. I'm gonna take some of this street taco from Blackstone. I'm gonna roll that lime out, try to get as much juice as possible. Lime her up. Take your hand, just come in here and just rub it all in. And now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna do the exact same thing on this other side. We're gonna put this into a gallon size Ziploc bag and we're just gonna let it hang out for 10, 15 minutes. While our skirt steak's over there in that marinade, we're gonna make a little pico to go into our trash can nachos. So just a simple pico, we're gonna do two to three of these Roma tomatoes diced. To our tomatoes, we're gonna add some chopped red onions. Now we're gonna do one jalapeno. This is a rather large jalapeno and that's fine. I am going to not put the seeds in. I don't wanna hear nobody talking trash about me, talk, talking about my manhood or anything, all right? All right, next, I'm gonna take a good little bit of cilantro. Now, uh, roll this lime out right here. When you roll the lime out, it gets a little bit of the juices going. Take these also afterwards, put them on the griddle Whenever it's a little warm, it also releases more of those juices and it gives a little bit of char taste too. So we're just gonna come here. We'll put the juice of one lime on our pico. All right, now to this, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna add some pepper. Now we're gonna take a little bit of just good extra virgin olive oil and stir this up. We got our skirt steak ready, marinating. Got our pico made. Now we gotta make an awesome cheese sauce. And we're gonna start out with two tablespoons of butter, good butter. And you wanna add about two tablespoons of flour. So it's coming here with your whisk, whisk that all up. You wanna cook that flour out, okay? That's part of the roux. You know, one to two minutes is good for this roux. You don't wanna cook it too long, you don't wanna get it too brown, okay? So to that, this is one cup of evaporated milk. And I'm also gonna do one cup of whole milk. And we're just gonna let this kind of warm through, let that roux help thicken that. And then we got all kinds of cheeses and goodies that we're gonna throw in here. All right, so once your, your cheese dip, or this is really a gravy right now, y'all. Once it's kind of thickened, it's nice. I mean, you can put that over a biscuit right there, y'all. Whew, that'd be some good groceries already. But we're gonna make it even better. We're gonna add some cheese to this. First, we're gonna add a little bit of Oaxaca cheese. Next, we're gonna add some, this is white American. If you start seeing it being really, really, really thick, you can always add a little bit more milk or heavy whipped cream, whatever you're using. This is a four cheese blend. It's got Monterey Jack, it's got cheddar, asadero, and queso quesadilla cheese. And we're gonna add a liberal amount. Maybe about a cup, a cup and a half. Just stir this until it all gets melty and incorporated. After a minute or two, this is what you're looking for right here. All the cheese is nice and melted. It's nice and smooth. To this, we're going to add some diced jalapenos. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this street taco. Just a little bit of this brine from the pickled jalapenos. Super awesome melty cheese. After our super melty cheese is done, it's time for our skirt steak. Now we got a pre-worn Blackstone. This thing is, you can see the smoke coming up off of it. You want to cook this skirt steak really, really hot, really, really fast. It just kind of, it's thin, so it needs it, right? So I'm going no oil. We got oil in this skirt steak. And let's put it on the griddle. Try to really make, make a good contact patch. because You want as much of that meat to hit the top of that griddle. So we're gonna let that go for about a minute. We're gonna flip it over for another minute. 
I like to put these limes down on the griddle just like this. And what that does, it creates a little bit of char, a little bit of charness to the, to the flesh. It gives it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more body. And it also helps release more juices that's inside that lime. All right, our skirt steak's been on for about a minute. We're gonna flip it over and go to the other side. Ooh, boys. We're about to have some nachos. After your skirt steak is done to your liking, this is gonna be medium rare. It kind of tapers off over here. It's gonna be kind of medium. And we're just gonna take this off and we're gonna put it over on our cutting board. Wow, that skirt steak is beautiful, y'all. Hey, we're gonna let this kind of set. And we want to kind of let it just kind of chill for a little bit. If we cut into it immediately, juices are just going to fly everywhere. We really don't want that. We want the juices to kind of relax, kind of be in the meat, right? So I'm going to let this rest for eh, maybe about five minutes. That's a long five minutes, y'all. We're going to give this skirt steak a slice. I do want to say, uh, you can see there's these vertical lines right here. That's the grain. You want to slice against the grain. But... If we slice, we can't, you know, make a big slice like that, but we want little cubes to go in our nachos. So I'm just going to come right here and we'll start slicing there. We're just going to stack some of these up here. Now we slice it against the grain. All right, it's time to build our trash can nachos. So this is a coffee can that I've removed the top and bottom, obviously, and I've wrapped with aluminum foil. So that way, you know, don't get nasty or anything. Now we just kind of layer everything, just kind of one by one by one. And hopefully when I do this, it holds. Y'all pray for me. First layer, I'm gonna add a little bit of this cheese to the bottom. Now, add your favorite chips and I'm gonna try to, try to get a good base here. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this queso. I got some Bush's baked beans. They already kind of like kicked up a little bit. They got some spices in them. So I thought that'd be a great add. Also got a little bit of corn in it as well. We're gonna add a little pico de gallo. I'm gonna add some of our carne asada. We'll do just a little bit of red onion. We'll do a little bit of pickled jalapenos. We repeat those three steps until we get almost to the top. This is getting kind of big, y'all. This thing stays upright, I'll be really happy. I'm gonna to pray to the trash can nachos gods. Please trash can nacho gods, please stay put. Voila, hey, that's pretty good. It pretty much stayed together. I like, this is Mexican crema. It's like sour cream but uh, I, I just like it a little bit better. You can also put it in your layers if you want. I just chose not to. We'll do a little bit of cilantro just to make things pretty. Let's make this pretty. You don't want Aunt Karen coming by talking trash about your trash can nachos. All right, one last thing. A little more of this cheese. Y'all, these trash can nachos, this thing is epic. If you take this to your big game party, People are going to be like, wow, man, wow. I'm tired of looking. I say, let's try this thing. Let's see, where do I start at? Right up here, I don't want to, there we go. I just pulled that off. I want to come in here, I want a little bit of steak. I want a little bit of everything. Mmm. Mmm. That steak, I taste that street taco seasoning. Pico, nice and fresh. That queso, that stuff is out of this world. That alone, I mean, I could probably just take a bath in that stuff. Be like just pouring it. It's, oh, oh man, that's great. I can't stop eating these. This is fantastic. Y'all, I highly suggest you make this for your next big game or even any kind of party. I promise you, it's going to be a showstopper. Hey, hop on over to Blackstone Products YouTube page and check out all the other awesome videos just like this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.